Hi guys, I'm Nagad of Chum, and welcome to my reaction for Amusha Cadence, episode 13, I think. Yeah, 13. I'm very sorry that I'm, I'm a little bit late. Um, also, I'm kinda a little sick, so I apologize for any kind of coughing and such. But last time, Rudy kind of met with that uh, demon girl or whatever she was and kind of help her and she gave him a special eye powers like he can see a little bit into the future yeah <clears throat> still not able to defeat what is his name he has, yeah, he has a very, <laughs> Mr. Support, yeah, that's how I call him. He's just way too good. And Rudy's reaction time is not that good to be able to fight him yet. Yeah, he needs still a lot of time and preparations and training. But he was able to defeat kind of pretty easily defeat Ares, which is sad because he was using a hex powers. <laughs> right? Uh, but I hope she will like train like a freak so she would become even stronger because she is strong. She's very good. She has a talent for fighting. So I hope it would kinda help her to not give up and try and train more. Also we saw Roxy with a group of people I forgot what was their objective. Whoops. Well, I guess I'm going to watch it right now. Is everything working? Yeah. Okay, what, what kind of pub is this? <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. My favorite voice actor. Ellie Nalis. <laughs> Okay, so that's their objective. Okay. I guess she doesn't care. What is she talking about? I mean... Are you worried about how you look? No, we have a mission here, sorry. Yeah. Oh, we had this. Oh, wow. Her name is very famous. What are you talking about, woman? Right? You have a problem? Are you jealous that she is, I don't know, very cool with how pretty she is and influential? Okay. Having fun, I guess. A previous party she was in. <laughs> Ouch. I guess there is some feeling of camaraderie. I wonder, I might have a little of a picture in mind, but then <laughs> the fact that he found himself a loving wife and a loving second wife, I mean, those wives will beat the crap out of him if he will be acting up, so he got what he deserved. 
She's so chatty. And beautiful. She knows how to use it, for sure. I mean, yeah, you can get a lot of information like this. Damn. Yeah, you can get a plenty of information like this. Mm-hmm. What kind of elf temptress are you, woman? I like this dude. Okay. okay, continue. Oh, the rumor. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going a little bit, a little bit big around here studying it again right now I'm little forgot about that okay <laughs> right something is weird so maybe you should investigate come on Come on, that, that sounds weird, doesn't it? Plenty of time. Yeah, she probably is going to be okay. Yeah, what happened to them? I wonder what happened to them. Yeah, like, really kind of take care of himself. But others... Oh, hello, bird. I like that we are having Farkas and Roxy in her party. Okay. Well. Oh, okay. I was thinking if... If this is before this happened. Yeah, maybe wait a little. Impressive. Girl, if you just stayed for a second. Okay, so she ran away. And somewhere around here was Rudy. You just passed him. <clears throat> but again, Super had had pretty bad. Yeah.
Damn, lady. I don't know about it. Damn, girl. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck did I just walk into? Oh, well, she definitely killed the mood. She absolutely killed the mood. I don't know if anyone will ever come to her. <laughs> like, to the elf girl, like, ah! Oh, yeah. Having a nice groupie there. I don't know. Okay, darkness. I don't think, yeah. Not everyone is into these kind of things, lady. Cute. Okay, that's kind of cute. Well, let her have her dreams. Cute. <clears throat> Damn, the elf lady. <laughs> she has an appetite. Mm. Okay. Liberated, saying. I mean, you don't say he's fishy. But they're moving. I mean, cool. Absolutely cool. Except those. Someone has the same ideas. <sighs> Idealistic, childish ideas. What is this? A novel? Visual novel? Why would you get a coffee? That's not how it went. She doesn't like traveling by the boat. Seemingly. Well, I never traveled by boat on ocean. I mean, I don't think he minds much. <laughs> Urges. Okay, what kind of animal is that? She is really not feeling good. Should be more careful. Hmm. Nice down. Like the architecture again. Palm trees. <laughs> she really doesn't like it. Ouchie. Good. That's where we are starting. Learning control. Our motivation.
I should be glad that she's giving you at least something. Trying to give you at least something. Oh, this is such a nice town. He is motivated. <laughs> he just doesn't let it out too much. Nice shit. Okay, hello there. <clears throat> okay. Where are we going? Okay. Underground. I mean, makes sense. Pretty smart. <coughs> Who is that? I'm sorry, there is a beautiful huge dog behind you. Sorry. Ouch. Now oh, then. Well, a lot of scum lives here. Now oh, then. Now oh, then, and he's here. Oh god, I feel like he's really holding himself a lot. Yeah, you can hear it in his voice. I mean, yep. I mean, we are pretty strong. We could do it, but can you please shut up? What will hurt him? What will hurt him? Of course, he will consider that. Mm, I'm all for murdering them. They're bad people. Who cares? I was like, yep, he's sitting here for a very long, he sees, hears all these people suffering and the voice he was talking with. Oh, his hair grew up back. I mean, makes sense. It's been a long journey. Still not as hot as it was or used to be, but I'm okay with this. Just murder them all. As worse as possible. Even though I understand Riddy really, really doesn't like people being killed. Is she dead or alive? She might be really, really hurt. It would be very hard for them because they've been constantly beaten. Yeah. Get the weapon away. Ah, oh, he's healing good. Really, come on, this situation. How yeah, cute. It's awfully silent. Aww. 
this cured for things. Well, yep. You got changed quickly and we got rid of your hair. Wow. Efficient. Oh, really? So she really is dead? Mm. Yeah, people can be pretty shitty. Okay. Good. Will they be safe there, though, is my question. Well, <laughs> it's been a slaughter. Why are you yelling? You mean the, the wolf? True. Because you are children more vulnerable. Is he important for you? To you? I wanna I was like, hmm, seems important. Oh he will. <laughs> he will to the death. Oh how can someone hurt a little wolfy doggy, whatever that is? Be careful though. Can be vicious. Oh, barrier? Damn. I guess valuable goods. So it would not also run away. <clears throat> Wasn't it? It's so cute. Can I have it? Well, I guess you got yourself a friend for life. <laughs> it looks very fluffy. Ah, uh, imagine. Saving it. Dude, calm down. It looks hot, though. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. No! Doggy, can you please do something? I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... Uh, in safety. Okay, so they came here to save the children. We're here to help you. This dude is hot. But he's sacred, so I guess makes sense they would really think wrongly, but hey, we okay. You be hot. <laughs> We didn't do anything, kids, please. <laughs> right? Ah, goddamn sacred beasts and tribes and their special laws. <laughs> God damn it. Well, figure things out. Well, figure things out, right? Just please don't kill these people because they are innocent and they didn't do not mean any harm. They just think you are the horrible person which deserves to die and those people deserve to die and they are dead. Horribly killed and mauled and probably I hope they I mean he was kinda of fast, but still yeah. Okay. Skip in is there something? No such thing as a free what? Free lunch? 
Come on. Okay, no such thing as a free lunch. Okay. Okay, this was a pretty cool episode. Uh, we uh, traveled to another place, which is funny because Roxy and the other people are still back there. So we kind of met, but we didn't know about it. <clears throat> and they're trying to save Rudy. But like, I mean, they're also there for other from their family. So they might be able to do that. Something to do with that. Uh, Ares is really not good with traveling by boat. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I would fare. Probably not good either. Given that when I traveled by plane, oh boy. Oh boy, wasn't a good feeling. But it might have some. It might have had something to do with the fact that I was really afraid because the day, the night before, I was watching like. One of these, uh, that one Canadian, is it Canadian TV series about plane crashing, like plane crashes? My brother was watching it. So, yeah, that probably did not help me feeling comfortable while flying. <laughs> right? By boat, I don't know. I only was on a small river that's not as bumpy as ocean, so I don't really know. Uh, then they moved to land, and I mean, the guy smuggled Mr. Superd, who, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, the moment I saw him there sitting, I was like, Oh, whoa, all that pent up anger. <laughs> well, do wonders, for sure. Hearing all these screeches, especially from children. Yep, indeed, that will do wonders, and it did wonders. <laughs> I love that he can be so fucking scary and menacing. Dude is a menace. Oh my god. And I love it. <laughs> can scare you, but it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, it was a cool thing in this. And I'm absolutely for him slaughtering all these horrible shits. Yeah. Despite his black and white outlook, these people absolutely deserve it. Mm -hmm. Sadly, sadly, we went back for a cool doggy, and Rudy was kind of like having fun with it. It's cute dog, very fluffy. I mean, who would not want to pet it to the death, right? And the beast folk came and they weren't very happy because they thought Rudy's part of a... Yeah. I mean, did they not see all the dead bodies? What did they thought about it? I don't know. And it's sacred beast, so they were like, oh, he's doing this horrible stuff to our beast, sacred beast. Maybe it's not really that hard to caught, catch the doggy because it's so super friendly, I guess. Dog, you could have, like, I don't know, tried to protect Rudy like he didn't do anything wrong to you. But I guess the dog is that kind of dogs which are like, oh, human, we like, we don't care, we laugh. Yeah. But at least beast children are okay. I hope nothing wrong happened, but the moment we set a foot on another continent, the troubles follow. Great. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, we also saw a bit from Roxy and her party she is with. And I hope we will like see more of them, because they are kind of enjoyable. Yeah. And like... Seeing Roxy, right? It's very enjoyable. She's very cute. So I hope it will be like continuous thing. Yeah. I really like this episode. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Like, nice story. Uh, it flew well. Go went well. Um, The switch up between Roxy and was nice. Like, we weren't just with Rudy. A slaughtering of these shitty people was nice. 
we got into a problem, so I wonder how we will be able to handle it. But there is a hot beast man, so I'm okay being here and there. Yeah, I'm glad because Mr. Super was hot, but well, then he got rid of his hair and uh, it really doesn't fit him well. It hurts. So at least I have replacement to look for. I do really like men with long hair. Yeah, if if you haven't noticed, if you haven't noticed <laughs> yet. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. So I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.